a goat and her name is Colette. She's half Nigerian and half Oberhasi. So we need to start getting ready. She just had a baby today. Um, she had one kid, it was a little boy. So we'll have them both and we have to pick them up next week. So we're trying to clean up because where we're at right now is a little barn that we used to store things when we were moving while our house was being built. And it's just one of those things out of sight, out of mind. So we haven't dealt with it. Well, now we need to deal with it. So we are going to clean up so that way she can have a place to come in at night. Um, and then we'll start, after she's here, we'll start cleaning on another stall so that way we can start kid sharing eventually. I'm excited about being able to start milking and just kind of bonding with her and seeing where that goes. I haven't had goats for a while, so it's fairly new to me again. The boys are really excited, and one thing I don't like is snakes, though. So I'm sure we'll move something in here and not like what's underneath of it. Can we do this out? Yeah. There is a drowned rat in our bucket. Lovely. So he gets the pleasures of dumping it out. Can I dump that one out? Hmm? Can I dump that one out? Hmm? Which one? That one. No, it has fencing stuff in it. Did you get it out? Oh, yeah. Was it a rat? No, it was a mouse. Oh, well, that's better than a rat. There you go. You're a big help today. Awesome. That's how you do it. You done for now? to give you an update on Henry. He's getting along really well. We let him in with the other chickens today and everybody seems to accept him fairly well. We have a couple hens that are more dominant so they kind of peck on him a little bit but it's like a pecking order with anything. But for the most part he's good. He's actually enjoying himself up here in one of the nest boxes. I think he feels safe up there. So I'll, have you, I'll let you take a look at him. Henry. Hi, it's okay. It's okay. See, it's a big change, huh? Let's 
Two zippers. Nice boy, that's pretty. Yes. <laughs> Try to play it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't really know how, so how do you want it? <laughs> Just strum it. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Can you see me? I can see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, hold that strip of bits. All right. We gotta get this hay feeder down. Let's go. It was a dirt bite. Uh, it was a dirt bite. <laughs> Practice and fishing. See, I always thought maybe the, the bees were down there in that root ball. Oh, they were right there on that. This is our garden right down here. There's a big area, I don't know, probably a 20 foot wide strip right through here. And then out this way, it's probably on this end towards the barn to where we're going to put the fence where you can see I mowed is probably somewhere around 50 or 60 feet. And then out there on the end, next to where that hay bale is, you see the boys walking out there, it's probably 40-ish feet on that end of the garden. We're thinking we're gonna do, we already have one tree that we have to plant. It's a an Arkansas black apple tree. We're thinking probably maybe like four trees, four apple trees out through here. We haven't decided exactly which kind. If you guys have any ideas, let us know what you're thinking there. We'll uh, walk out here, we'll show you where the garden is, and then we'll show you. We have some lettuce going right now and some onions, which we were just talking, we're thinking about playing more onions. Look how dirty Wade's hands are. Hey Wade, Wade, are your hands dirty? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of dirt might beat the coronavirus. <laughs> might be the ticket. We have an old shed here that we... We originally bought that shed for a chicken coop and we had chickens in it for like a week. But we're using it as our garden shed now. It needs a new roof and some more paint. What color are we going to paint it? Can of flowers. Pan of flowers. I want to leave it blue and paint some flowers on it, but we'll see who wins that. So here's our garden. Uh, it's probably, I want to say we measured the rows last year. They're like 30 up and down. They're like 30 feet in that way. I think it's like 60. Right now, I think we're going to stick with that this year, but we're thinking, I mentioned about putting those apple trees up through here. I think we're going to put 
eventually, maybe not this year, but sometime, put a row of raised beds up there, along with some apple trees. We have a lot of room right here in this area, actually, for a lot of different ideas, and we'll see what plays out there. Sure. And then we have this. If you see right down here, there's some string, and it goes all the way out through there to a corner over there. And we're eventually going to put a fence all the way across here to meet the other fence over there. We'll show you guys the onions and the lettuce that started. We still have all this to till up. And last year what we ended up doing, usually we've just, we've always tilled it. And just year after year we've always done that. Last year we kind of tried some wood chips and that didn't work. I just don't think it's going to work for us. I don't have anything against it. I just, for us, I don't think it's going to work. So what we ended up doing last year was kind of beds. You can kind of see the beds there. That's what we did. And then we put hay in between them. And that composted. And that actually worked really good. I know some people don't like doing it that way. And we used cardboard. Yeah, we used, we used some cardboard in between. Like we had a couple permanent rows that we did. And we used some cardboard. And that worked really good. It's all gone, I can tell you that. As you can see from all the water laying that... We won't be working in the garden anytime soon. It's monsoon season here again in West Virginia. So we're gonna, we'll have to deal with that. But you can see the lettuce is coming up pretty good. I don't remember if this is butter crunch or crisp mint. But you can see the sticks. Sticks that I have. There's a stick there and one there. And one over there, and one right there. I'll give you a side shot, but I uh, separated them. We have some red lettuce in there that you can't hardly see, but you can see it. There's one, there's some, and I'm going to have to get in here and thin this. Then our onions, our onions are doing really good. They, uh, we need to get in there and weed them. But like I said, it's just been so wet that it's hard to get anything done. Bye. Thanks for joining us for a little fun on the farm. Bye. Bye. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.